<clears throat> Let's go in five, Dallas, four, Worth, three, huh? two. Well, you guys are going to be in one of the new series that we will see on NBC this fall, and mm -hmm. hopefully uh, for many falls to come. It's your move. And uh, Jason, your role has been described as kind of a lovable con man. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that? Yes, I would. Um, probably some of the things that, it, that my character is probably closer to is, um, is a, a hustler with a heart or a Sergeant Bilko Jr. with hair. Um, maybe a, a con man with conscience. Take your pick. <laughs> okay. Now, what do you think about parents? Do you think parents are going to look at that and say, I don't want my kids watching that? Um, no. I, well, first of all, I think the younger crowd who would be, the young, young crowd who would be really um, more possibly influenced by that are already in bed, you know, because it's a 9.30 show. Um, and uh, and I, I think in today's society, um, kids know enough about TV, um, you know, with all the violence that's been on, they, they know enough that it's not real and, and to take it with a grain of salt. And, you know, this is, a, you know, a situation comedy, you know, of course they can, they can laugh at it. Um, if they want to learn from it, you know, they're, they're learning from the wrong guy. Um, you know, th there's plenty of books on, on, you know, how to pick a lock or how to bug a phone. Is there any of you in the role, Jason? Were you kind of growing up uh, conning your parents around a lot? I can't con my parents, but um, I can, I, c I talk pretty good um, as far as talking my way out of a situation to, uh, to other people. You know, if I get myself in the you yeah, saying you trouble. lie. Do you lie, Jason? No, I don't lie, <laughs> but I, um, I speak uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> David, how about it? <laughs> Do you find that he speaks well? <laughs> oh, he speaks very well, yes. And uh, the first day we taped the show, my car was towed from the the parking lot at Universal, so I'm not at all sure that he doesn't <laughs> uh, do it in real life, but we'll see. <clears throat> we'll what, see. What were you parking in the vice president's place or something? That no, he was in my place, actually. No, we won't get into that. <laughs> <laughs> David, this uh, is this about the first TV you have ever done? Yes. The yes. first? I've uh, been working in New York on the New York stage for low these many years, and uh, this is my first venture to Hollywood. And I'm having an awfully good time. Everyone in New York said, oh, no, you're going to go to Hollywood. You're going to sell out. You're going to have an awful time. I'm having a great time. It's Was it uh, that you just picked up from New York and came out here? Or did someone offer you something? Or? I, I came out uh, to do a quick job um, on, uh, on a movie of the week about Ernie Kovacs. It starred Jeff Goldblum on a different network. And uh, while I was out, I got a chance to, uh, to read for the show and never thought I'd get it. No way. Mm -mm. And did. So that's the, you know, the sort of Cinderella story. It worked out very nicely. Unfortunately, I now owe my agent dinner at the Four Seasons in New York because I bet him that I wouldn't get it and did. Why did you think you would not get it? I just didn't think uh, that I was um, castable. In, in Los Angeles. Everybody, I thought, needed to be six foot two, blonde hair, blue eyes, you know. That guy was gorgeous. fired, so we went with second choice. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got the blue eyes. <laughs> One out of three is One out bad. of three. <laughs> I do what I can. Yeah. Uh, you have a very distinguished theatrical record, awards and, and all those kinds of nice things. Um, what are your expectations now for, from television? to learn a great deal more about about my craft. Uh, working on television is very different from working on stage, uh, especially in terms of size, for instance, of performance and, and camera technique. Um, I think an actor stops growing if he stops challenging himself in, in any way. Uh, so it involves a bit of risk taking. Um, even venturing into a, a field that, that supposedly um, uh, theatrical performers don't venture into situation comedy on television. How could you? Kind of Star Trekian. Uh, uh, no man has ever gone before. <laughs> on quite the contrary, I'm finding that it's really stretching me in some wonderful ways. So did, there's a lot to learn. Did you know John Lithgow when you were in New York? Mm -hmm. and, and look at what's happening to him. He's having an awfully good time. Just look at yeah. all the things and the different things he's done. So do you think maybe Hollywood is changing its mind about? I think that 
that the uh, connection between New York and Los Angeles is definitely growing and definitely improving. Ten years ago, the, the, the sort of cross-pollination, if you will, of the two sides of the industry would never be, never have taken place. And, and now it, it's, it's quite alive and well. And that, to me, is a very, very good sign that, that actors are moving back and forth between uh, the two coasts and, and the two sides of the industry so easily. Well, David and Jason, it's been fun talking with you. And I do hope that your new series is a big hit for you and for NBC, for all of us. Go Thank Cowboys, you. do it this year. Oh, <laughs> all right. You and I are going to be friends a long time. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs>